The Labrador is a loving, well-known breed perfect as family companions or even hunting companions. Due to their high intelligence and kind, devoted nature, they're a very popular dog for service dogs. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you the basics of feeding your lab, including how much they should be eating and how often. Welcome back to the Fenrir Labrador Show. If this is your first time here, my name is Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Labrador Retriever. Then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise perfect labs. So if you're a lifelong Labrador lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new pup, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Labrador video. Right, let's jump straight into today's video and find out more about feeding your Labrador, how much and how often you should be feeding them. The Labrador Retriever has an average lifespan of between 10 and 12 years. Labrador males stand at 22 and a half to 24 and a half inches, weighing between 65 to 80 pounds. While female labs stand 21 and a half to 23 and a half inches and weigh 55 to 70 pounds. An obese Labrador Retriever is at a much higher risk of developing other health issues, including heart diseases, lethargy and bone and muscle problems, which can end up shortening their lives by many years, so it's extremely important to prevent excess weight being gained. Labradors are highly motivated by food, and there have been many studies suggesting that labs and other retriever breeds like the flat-coated retriever and golden retriever are potentially genetically more at risk of becoming obese due to their infatuation with food. Of course, all dogs are individuals and where one is food driven the other is praise driven however there have been many suggestions that the retrievers are more prone to obesity because of genetics this is important to be aware of as an owner since you'll need to keep a close watch on how much food your dog is having also being prone to hypothyroidism this makes the breed able to easily put on weight Keeping them physically active is essential in keeping them at a healthy weight. They need healthy food and to be given the right amount for their age and size, plus a limit on how many treats they're given. If a lab is overweight, they can be extremely lethargic and unenthusiastic, which means that getting your dog to lose the excess weight that they have gained can be a very tricky process, and a lot of hard work, effort, and plenty of patience must be put in by both the dog and the owner. When you get your Labrador puppy from the breeder, they'll give you a feeding schedule, and it's essential to stick to that same routine and the same puppy food to prevent any issues in their digestive system. You can change their diet, but it has to be done gradually and carefully so that they do not end up developing any digestive upsets. If they do end up having trouble with digesting it, then it's best to put them back on the original diet and talk the change through with your vet before trying to change it again. It's recommended to feed a mature Labrador twice a day with one meal in the morning and then one in the evening. Alongside this, you should be giving your dog the correct amount of exercise so that they burn off any excess calories. They need a good, high quality food that will give them their nutritional requirements. Depending on the breed of dog that you have, the feeding can vary. The breeder may also have some recommendations for you, and so do not be afraid to ask them, as they'll be happy to answer any questions you have about anything regarding your puppy. There are many different foods and diet types that you can give your puppy, but what we recommend is that it's high quality and grain free food that is high in the required nutrients that your dog needs and keeps them happy and healthy. Again, it's important to research into this before getting your dog and to understand how feeding a puppy is different to feeding an adult dog. Labradors are known to suffer from a condition called bloat. Ways to prevent this include feeding them twice a day instead of one large meal each day so that it isn't too heavy on their stomach and investing in a stand for their food bowl to make it easier for them to eat comfortably instead of stretching low to reach their food. Also, you should not feed your dog just before or just after exercise, as this can put them at an increased risk of bloat. Once your pup is settled into their new home, you can begin to change their diet gradually and carefully. From two months old to 14 months old, the amount of food they need changes and increases and decreases, all depending on their build. Puppies need the required nutrients to grow into a healthy adult dog, and all of these measurements can be found through research from the breeder or from the vet. For example, at two months old, your puppy should have 211 grams to 237 grams, depending on their build. 
Then at eight months old, they should have 299 grams to 418 grams, depending on their build. And at 14 months, they should have between 285 grams and 394 grams, again, depending on their size and build. An adult Labrador Retriever should be fed around 400 grams to 560 grams of good quality and high nutritious food each day. In order to maintain a healthy lifestyle and prevent obesity, the Labrador needs at least two hours of exercise every day and the right amount of high quality dog food. They're a high energy and athletic breed that need this balance of highly nutritional food and a large amount of exercise each day to retain their muscular and athletic body and high physical stamina. The lab needs this balance between diet and exercise. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below and don't forget if you're new here, make sure you subscribe as we have three dedicated lab videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Labrador Show.